Hello everyone! Today we have some good news from the Microsoft credentials world. It looks like we might be getting a new Power Platform certification. If we recap what happened this year in the Microsoft credentials world in the Power Platform, we did lose one certification, the PL100 exam, and the Power Platform AppMaker certification. Both of them retired on June 30th, 2024. However, we did get three new applied skills this year, one of them for Power Automate and two of them around Power Apps and Dataverse. But all of those news came at the beginning of the year, around January and February and it has been silent ever since. But it looks like Microsoft is working on a brand new certification. Now, none of this is set in stone. This might not happen, so I'll tell you right away, it's not a guarantee that this certification will happen, but we have confirmation that Microsoft is considering a certification called the Power Platform Analyst. And um, how do I know it? It's because Microsoft did a post on the tech community asking for input on what is important to know if you are a Power Platform analyst. And there is a survey attached to it, which by the way, I'll link it in the description below. Make sure you go do it. It will help show Microsoft that people are interested in this certification. And by the way, even the name Power Platform Analyst, you see in the message by Liberty, it has a TBD to be determined next to it. So even the name might not be final, but let's take a quick look at what we know about it for now. So I'm here in the Microsoft tech community in the post. Again, you'll have a link below. Let's take a look at the survey. Now, let me zoom in here a bit to make sure that you can see it properly. By the way, if you want to do the survey, make sure you do it by September 12th, 2024. So first thing that is important is the target audience. And I saw something here, which was really interesting. As a candidate for the Power Apps Specialist Certification, so you see, they even refer to it with two different names, Power Platform Analyst, and Power Apps Specialist. So I feel like uh, Microsoft changed the name last minute. They didn't necessarily change it in the target audience, but as you can see, the name is not set in stone. Who knows if it's gonna be Power Platform Analyst or Power Apps Specialist? Well, in my opinion, there are two different, completely different job roles, but let's read on. So. As a candidate for this certification, you're proficient in creating business applications and automation solutions using the Microsoft Power Platform. You have hands-on experience in building and delivering enterprise-level solutions using the Power Platform, including managing environments and configuring advanced Dataverse features and capabilities. You have expertise in designing and developing business applications that meet user and technical requirements using Power Apps, Canvas Apps, model-driven apps, and cards, as well as Power FX. You have skills in designing automation solutions using Power Automate, enhancing efficiency and productivity for the organization. You have knowledge of implementing and managing security measures with the Power Platform and Dataverse, ensuring data protection and compliance, and you have the ability of translating business requirements from stakeholders and work with solutions architect to develop custom solutions. Now, this last one here is the most analyst skill requirement that I've seen in this audience so far. Wow, but now this keeps going. So. You are also familiar with the capabilities of all Power Platform services and can perform fit gap analysis of requirements against Power Platform features. You are an expert in low-code solutions with the Power Platform 
and you can collaborate with developers when custom coding is required. You have a working knowledge of PowerFX and are proficient in building custom data models by extending Dataverse. Your key responsibilities as, again, they mentioned Power Apps specialist here and not Power Platform analyst, uh, are to create advanced applications using Power Apps, design advanced automation solutions using Power Automate, execute advanced Dataverse tasks such as creating and managing tables, columns, relationships, and business logic, and of course, you can ensure optimal performance and security. Finally, a candidate for this course or certification should have knowledge and experience with consuming Power Apps from an end user perspective, Microsoft 365 and Dynamics 365 capability and use cases, standard relational database concepts. Wow, that is quite the things to know. And I am a bit confused, I'll be honest here, between the Power Platform Analyst and Power Apps Specialist, as I feel like they're kind of merging two certifications into one. I would really see this as two certifications. And again, uh, depending on what you answer, uh, and here I will uh, just answer, I've already answered it, so I will not save it. But as you answer the question, you can go and see what does Microsoft plan to add to this certification. So the top here is all the same thing that we read. And then we have configure Microsoft Dataverse. So what would we need to know in this uh, exam objective? You need to know how to configure connection roles and utilize connections, configure Dataverse search and manage the search index, utilize data flows with Dataverse, evaluate business logic options, data migration options. We see we have Dataverse security, which of course is very important. Uh, if we go to the next one, uh, let's see our next objective is build business solutions with Power Apps, which I'm sure will be a very, very big part of the exam in which we need to know how to build advanced Canvas apps. So you need to know how to build responsive pages by dragging and dropping containers, uh, how to build reusable component libraries, how to implement business logic using PowerFX, how to optimize and troubleshoot Canvas apps, how to configure model-driven apps. And of course, I won't go through all the details. You can read them as you do the survey. You need to know how to create Power Apps cards. I think this is the first time that I see Power Apps cards on an uh, applied skill or credential description. You need to know how to extend model-driven apps, including embedding a Canvas app or a Power BI tile into a model-driven app, uh, configure Microsoft SharePoint integration. Thank you for writing SharePoint properly. Unfortunately, it's not always written uh, properly, so thank you for that. Let's keep going. Uh, create Power Platform designs. So this, again, fits a lot more with that analyst role. So recommend Power Platform designs. Perform functional analysis for the Power Platform. Design and implement automated lifecycle management, ALM, in the Power Platform. Uh, really, really interesting. So you need to know everything from how to create the Power Apps, how to manage Power Platform environments, how to implement DLP policies. So this becomes quite a big certification in my opinion. And there we go. If we look at Power Automate on the last one, let's take a look at what's, uh, what we need to know here. We need to know how to consume Power Automate desktop flows. So authenticate desktop flows and develop a cloud flow that calls a desktop flow. That's pretty easy. Now, implement and enhance cloud flows. You need to know how to develop reusable logic by using child flows, implement trigger conditions and concurrency in cloud flows, configure trigger filters, uh, leverage power effects as part of an automation design, utilize the Dataverse connector, 
and use variables in actions and formulas, implement error handling in cloud flows, and then manage Power Automate flows. Now, I'll be honest, looking at only the Power Automate part, very similar to what you need to know for the PL100 and PL200 certifications. So I feel like not a lot of new stuff here, but for the rest of the objectives, we have some new things that we're gonna be evaluated on. So this is it. I won't go through all of them because you'll have a link to the survey on the description below. But what do you think about the certification? Well, uh, also, what do you think about the name? Do you think it's more of a power platform analyst or a power apps specialist certification? Do you think it's something that we need in the current portfolio? Or should this be all part of the PL200 or PL600 certifications? Uh, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to get the latest Microsoft credential news, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. This way you get notified as soon as I post the latest news available. Thank you so much for watching.